All right, uh, hey everybody, Brad here. And I'm gonna try to draw old Clint Eastwood in white Prismacolor <laughs> on the black sheet of paper. They cancel sheet of paper. I'm gonna sit right by so I can look right at it. That's sitting right there. And, uh, Let's see what we can do with this. Here we go. It ain't going to be a perfect one either. It's going to just be a quick... See how fast I can make it. Alright. Let's see. Got that little... Creases in his upper nose area. Bridge of the nose. Brow, around his brow, eyebrow. We're well, we gonna just uh, now this ain't gonna be totally accurate, and uh, so I can't erase, so that might be an issue. There is, I can see his eye slightly, or eye socket anyway. Right here. Barely see it. Man, uh, actually, the old bushy eyebrow, uh, eyebrows actually cover up this eye over here, really. And you really can't really see where his eyes are at on his guess. They're right here. Yeah, this is going to be tricky, trying to figure out how to uh, do shadows or something like that, you know. Because I have not had these, this black notebook set for yesterday. I got it yesterday, didn't do anything with it, but been drawing all day today. Anyway, he put no bags up on his eyes. Now, here is... See if I don't mess this up. Come down his nose right around here. Got some shading up under his nose right here. Nothing on that side. That's slightly. He's got a slight shade right here, so I will. Kind of. Do that in the end right here and on top of his nostril. There. There. Got a slight dent right here. I reckon you call it a dent. And we we'll just go up the side of his nose right here. He's got, his jaws are kind of sunken in, you know, over the years, I reckon. And we're going to just, we go cut right down, right below his eyes, sort of like Abraham Lincoln. Well, I reckon that's how old people grow, right? And the mouth lying around the, toward the mouth or beside the mouth. And this, this side over here is kind of, it goes a little bit further down. And uh, you can't really see that right here, but the shadows, real heavy shadow right here. Then right down here would be a mouth. It's got a shadow into his lips, so. Right here, it comes pretty close to that line, but not all the way. And just go back across right here, and then bottom of his lip is uh, not that. 
that don't have to be perfect. That's uh, <laughs> I need to start just saying that all the time. I think I say that a lot anyway. Don't I? And all my videos don't got to be perfect. Stretch yourself out. All right, now let's see. We go right here. Yeah, I might as well be drawing in the, uh, I might try that. The Jethro, maybe try to draw that, uh, a portrait in the jelly roll, maybe. And you, uh, around your cheek, chin, I reckon, when you get a little older. So he's got a line right here. You got a mark right here, maybe a mole or something. Right? And, uh. Some age right there. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Everybody's gonna all have that if I live long enough. But kind of, just kind of, but this side would be a little bit into shade on this side of his face. Yeah. And, <clears throat> let's see. Right here, he's got another chin mark. And right there, let's see. And it's right here, it's just his chin. And it kind of goes right around right here. And there's going to be another, another line right here. Just, just goes straight up. And then you got another line right here where his actual uh, jaw right there. Right there. There we are. All right, now let's see, All right? Now let's see. We go ahead and do this part right here. Kind of shaded right here. See the sideburns right here, going on up to his hairline up here. Y'all see that? Okay. And this side over here is just all shaded, so uh, and this hairline is about like right, something like this. Now. I would like being able to go back and maybe do a couple lines a little bit different. But you can see the veins running in his, his forehead right there. So I'll just do that up right because it, it actually throws a shadow. And he's got lines throughout his forehead. I mean, he's an older guy now. I read he's in his. I don't even know how old he was in this picture. He ain't no young guy no more. So and he's got some lines coming this way too, across the head. So actually, I think this eyebrow will put back a little bit. And this actually goes all the way up. And you got shading right here on his cheekbone. All behind, back past his head. Now, all, all this be shadowed. And just, and up in here. Up under his hairline, he's got hair that rolls over, so we'll just uh, do something like that, maybe like a light in on this side of his head, too. 
right around his temple on the side of his head, baby. Yeah. That looks good, right? Maybe on that side of the vein, you can, yeah. And right here. Hey. There we are. We'll, uh, go ahead and do his ear right here. Which I think is his ear anyway. And then he's got hair after it. Right past it. It goes up like this. He's just think he's at the point now. He, he got a bad hair there. It really don't matter. Who's, who's looking? Right. That's the way I think about it. Who, who's going to be looking? Nobody. And then the hairline right here, right by his ears. I'll just put some lines in here. Uh, give it some kind of texture. I reckon. Make it look halfway good, right? There we go. How about that? Let's see it just comes down here and, and, and this it's just totally There's a couple you can I can see you right here. Right. Rest is this. That's super dark. Right through there. So we'll we'll make that run my pencil down. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll be all right. And right here's real dark. Now, I ain't this will be the first time using these as a a shading tool and a drawing tool all at the same time so I mean it might not be the best but I think y'all understand what I'm trying to do and I'll tell you the, the pencil lead whatever you want to call it the color pigment whatever this stuff Quick to uh, see right here, and real, real dark right through there, and a little dark kind of right there. And then he's got a real dark spot right here. I need to sharpen my pencil, so yeah, it is that that quick. Yeah, this is like a learning process, ain't it? And I got to put the lines. Let's see, he got some lines right here. There we are. Get him, get him looking squared away. And you can see some lines right here. Let's see, you got some lines right here. And uh, there's a, there's gonna be a shadow, a dark shadow right here. About I think I'll do that very last. And then you can actually see all the lines right here on the side of his head. That's a little dark area right there. Goes up. Now, we about done. Now, around the eyes, it's super. See how that dark, how that dark is? Real dark around the eyes. So, we'll try that. Let's see. Wait, there's a mort right here. I need to try to get. There we go. Let's see. A little bit of shadow right here. Maybe shadow like that. That, that looks pretty good. Real light. Real light pressure. Right. Real light pressure. I 
Let me go back and darken his hand a little bit. Darken again. <laughs> yeah, well, I reckon so, really. Yeah. Darken it, I like that. Darken it again. Let's see. I got some blemishes right here, but you know, shoot. In his age, I would imagine you would have some kind of blemishes. And just like maybe put a real light coat through the stuff that kind of sitting out. So it is part of his hair. Yeah, and I would, I would really like being able to go back and uh, maybe erase some lines and redo them, but hey, it's already done. It don't matter. Right. Right. It don't matter really now. So. Got to get them lines, they, they're pretty, they stand out on his face. And his, his mouth right here really stands out to you. Actually, the top lip is all shaded in, so. Or in the shadow. This part of the side of the mouth is top of it, and a little bit on the bottom. So we we'll just work, work, work around that, right? Hey, no. Uh, let's see, right here, right here, and a little bit down here. Now I got to get the eyes super, super dark, or super, <laughs> super shaded, I would have to say. Yeah, right through here is just total black, or total shade, right through there. And on the other side, right here. It just runs all along the eyebrow, really. And actually, you can't you can't really see the eye too much, not really. And this part right here, really dark, right through there, and right through here, you really can't tell where his hair ends and his forehead, side of his head, whatever you want to call it, starts, not really, you really can't tell, until it gets out here, then the light source or whatever actually starts getting into his hair, so, man, let's see a couple more spots. I'm gonna do this one more time. This thing goes real, real. It eat a pencil up good. Lord. Now, basically, you really can't see his eyes. Not really. All the way down to right about here. I should have got the wrong one, I tell you why. But this part right here you really can't see. All the way down to about right here. But I mean either. Right there. Now. 
I hope I didn't mess that up for y'all. <laughs> hey! Mm. Oh, Jim Bob. Hey, like, I don't know Jim Bob. Anyhow, I think it looks alright. Considering I'm using a white pencil. <laughs> Learning how to use and drawing Clint Eastwood. All, all at once. So, I think this is pretty nice. Oop. Pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. We look at in just a second. We're, we're um, fitting wrap it up. This is good enough. I don't want to mess him up. I hope I don't mess him up by doing his eyeballs like that. Let's see. Right, right through here. Yeah, all, all that. Set maybe right. And, uh, let's see. Let me just. And then, let me add this shirt. You can't really tell anything, really, not really. It's so dark right here. And this line, all that sun, all them years are written this. All right, and got him. Uh, let's see. Right. This this shirt comes around. The neck of it. Comes down. He's got a button up. Maybe like a polo or something like that. And let's say we fit me done. I don't want to really miss him up to you. And see the, the curve of the shirt. And then the shadow behind his neck on his shirt back there. And all this right here. All this right here is gonna be shade dark, 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 dark. And you know what I've done? <laughs> I just knocked him off. I just knocked this pencil picture off uh, Pinterest. My stupid hand. There it is. Now, let's go ahead and get all this real dark. Dark. Hmm. I'm calling it dark. Uh. Yeah, let me get this over here so I don't mess him up no more. Yeah, this is the color of a shirt. We're gonna just get it all the way it's put to be. So the light source is more on this side of his head than this side where my hand's at. But and that, you know what? I think I'm gonna leave it alone right after maybe this. Right here. All right. There it is. That looks like a negative, don't it? I think Fester, Uncle Fester 13, the Uncle Fester 13 said, if I could learn how to draw a negative shot, that would look good. But yeah, that is it. What y'all think? That is kind of wicked looking. <laughs> I like it. I absolutely like it. That is so awesome. I ain't gonna do. I was gonna do touching up. I ain't gonna do nothing else. That is wow, wow, wow. 
Anyway, it's Brad, Brad All American. And I, this guy right here, Clint Eastwood, is one of my favorite movie actors, also, right along with Sylvester Sloan, and I got a bunch more. I'm, I might start trying to draw all of them, but he is a true American. I love the movie Heartbreak Ridge when he ain't him in it as Gunny. I really like that. And all his old westerns, Pale Rider, Joe's Reels, and all that. So, anyway, thank you for watching. And, uh, Y'all have a good night. And I really love this. Y'all tell me what you think of it. That looks amazing. Alright, bye.